Doris, we've got two teams here with very deep rosters. Both can go far down their bench and not lose a beat. You know, it's so important in the regular season, VA, to have that opportunity. It's never about one or two players. Each of these teams has been built for the long haul of what we know is a grind. So let's take a look at the Los Angeles Lakers starting lineup. The big three for this team all out there. Westbrook the point, LeBron and AD sliding in at the forward spots. Marc Gasol is out there with Malik Monk. And for the Celtics, the core of this team, Brown and Tatum, they're the forwards. Dennis Schroeder is out there with Marcus Smart. And it's Horford in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Out to the wing. Tatum passes to Horford. The kick to Tatum. And it's going to be a three-second call. Three-second violation. Los Angeles ball. James finds Westbrook. Now Davis. Gasol passes to James. Back to Gasol. And then Gasol Ma with Gasol. the jam. It's amazing the LeBron draws so much attention in pick and roll situations, but always looking to give it up to a teammate. And the longevity of LeBron's greatness is unprecedented. The oldest starter in the league last season and still producing at an MVP level. Connect from downtown. Talk about the range. I mean, he's got amazing feel from that distance. Woo. And just about a minute into this first quarter. Here's James. Boston with a rebound. And what's incredible for LeBron is not just how good he is at his age, but the mileage on his body grip. So true, I mean, just three players in NBA history have exceeded 60,000 minutes played, including the playoffs. That's Kareem, Carl Malone, and the one and only LeBron James. And Boston has possession. Outside, Brown. Six to shoot. Shot from 12. Jump shot is good that time. Well, the mid-range is something Jalen Brown entered the NBA with. He looks very comfortable in that spot. And he lobs it up top. And finished off by Russell Westbrook. Westbrook. How about the high-flying antics of Russell Westbrook? The alley-oop. My goodness, that's pretty. Outside Tatum. First quarter, just about two minutes in. Oh, Tatum slams it home. When you're trying to stop a guy like this, you have to match his intensity level. Westbrook left side. James against Brown. Back to Westbrook. The three ball. That falls. Nice feed that time from James. James has got three assists in the game. And so it's Boston with it. They haven't allowed any points in the second quarter. Smart passes to Canner. Puts it up from 12. No good off the back of the rim. Los Angeles has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. And finished off by Davis. Davis. We haven't seen many buckets like that one. These teams have struggled to dial in their shooting. Well, you have to appreciate the defensive battle for sure. Both squads struggling on the offensive end. We call this grit and grind. Horford finds Canner. Clock at six. On the wing, Richardson. Checked by James. Rejected by James. An engaged LeBron James on the defensive end is an absolute menace. Pass to Monk from behind the arc. He can't hit that time. And Boston going the other way now. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. All right, B.A., Russell Westbrook last season said the title won't define him. He said, quote, I grew up in the streets. I'm a champion. I don't have to be an NBA champion. My legacy isn't based on what I do on this court. It's what I do off the floor. How many people I'm able to impact and inspire. 
Oh, different Willing perspective, Bunk. Allie. Good stuff. Willing Three. passers, unselfish play. You have to appreciate this kind of offense. Smart passes to Richardson. Pulls it from 20. Schroeder can't get it to go. Listen, he knows he should have made that shot. We'll see if they can work it back to him in that same area. Here's James. Oh! No, he did it! Punch it home! Nice! Assist well, those are the kinds of moves Anthony that distinguish Davis. LeBron from every other small forward that has ever played this game. Ooh, a great look there. Brought to you by the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Monk against Schroeder. And the dunk to finish it all. A beauty. Just great offense. The screen freeing him up for the slam. Hey, without that screen, he doesn't get a clean look at the rim. Boy, that's a play you just practice time and time again, and that's the result of the work put in. Richardson against James. Richardson, the pass to Smart. Misses the layup. Tries it from the top of the key. And the first half comes to an end. We've got a close game going here. It's the Celtics up by one. We'll be right back to begin the third quarter right after this. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson. Shaq is here. Kenny's here. You're watching the NBA Halftime Show on 2K Sports. Boston found themselves in a close game in the first. In the first period, their biggest lead was a slim three points. They were outscored by just a bit in the second quarter as they go into the break now holding just a one-point advantage. Kenny, what's your take on Boston so far? They were simply the better team on the offensive end. Every time the defense made an adjustment, they would make an adjustment on offense. Winning that little cat and mouse game, they'll be difficult to beat. Jack, what was your takeaway on the Lakers? I think they let the game come to them. But they haven't got to the foul line enough, Ernie. That's an area where they're getting beat. I like to see them press to action a little bit more. And that'll do it for us. The third quarter about to begin with Kevin Harlan standing by. We'll catch you on the flip side, my brother. Similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. One of the stories here, Jason Tatum. Man, is he getting it done today? You know, I'm not really sure what defenders can do to slow him down. He's just too skilled. Well, perhaps the most impressive thing has been his incredible consistency. This guy is a great player who always brings a ton of energy. What a great half. Second half underway. Here's who Frank Vogel's got on the floor. The big three for this team all out there. Westbrook the point, LeBron and AD sliding in at the forward spots. Malik Monk is out there with Marcus Hull. And over his career, Grant, Al Horford has continued to improve his outside shot. I mean, he really has. He came into the league as a low block loser. Eight years in, he adjusted and added a three point shot. And he has been a reliable player from outside since then. Anthony, you know what I love is Marcus Hull. So he comes up empty, missing both. The Lakers trail. Right wing. And here's Westbrook from the arc. And again, no good by the Lakers. Coming out stone cold here. Sometimes the breaks will do that to you. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Randy Hales from Germany. The Celtics making a switch here. Williams is checked in. So he gets them both. You know, I think one of the important things for Dennis Schroeder is to keep trying to become more and more efficient. Let his offense come naturally and improve as a distributor. Now here's Westbrook. He's got five. And again, no good by the Lakers. Not a terrific start here in the second half. Four attempts, nothing to show for it. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Left side, Davis. Kicks it out to Westbrook. Offline with a three. Ah, scoreless in their first five attempts since halftime. It's getting ugly. Schroeder can't get it to go. You will have to finish harder than that if you want to convert in traffic. Inside. Davis hits. 
and Davis just has Davis. the physicality to own the paint. Defenses just can't do much to stop him down low. Schroeder with it. He's picked up by Westbrook. Here's Brown. Remaining in the third. The shot that time not on target. Westbrook with the defensive effort. Davis, the pass to Howard. Banked it in off the glass. And a point guard in high school. Davis showing off his court sensibilities, hitting the open man right there. Pass to Williams. To the paint. Here's Tatum. Oh, Tatum slams it home. I just love the aggressive finish. And it's the Lakers ball. A great fourth quarter. Just giving up two points. Monk finds Anthony. Shoots over Schroeder. And Anthony gets it to go on the assist by Monk. Anthony. Monk's got three assists now in this one. The Celtics have gotten only one of five to fall here in the fourth. Here's Brown. Boston, no good that time either. For Los Angeles, they've gone two of three to open the fourth quarter. To the middle. To take the lead. No luck on that one. Nice D from Tatum. Well, the Celtics shooting just 38%. Their offense not where they want to be. James against Brown. lead by two. You, you can tell Jalen Brown embraces these kinds of moments. Big time bucket. And now let's take a look at the New Balance player of the game. Jalen Brown. And I just love to see a player who plays with an aggressive mindset. I mean, he had the energy and the intensity all game. He didn't waste any time when he had his chances out there by attacking the rim. Now here's Westbrook. Drops in the layup off the glass. Russell and the season veteran, the big shot maker, Russell Westbrook. Up top, Brown. Checked by James. It's in! You talk about stepping up in a big way. I'll tell you, it takes confidence to pull the trigger in that situation. You love guys who relish the moment. Now here's Monk. Pass to Westbrook. Back to Monk to take the lead. Boston with a rebound. Schroeder with it. Tatum finds Brown. Twenty-nine seconds left in the fourth. No good. A bit long that time. And so it's the Lakers with it. So far in the fourth, they've allowed just six points. Here's Westbrook. And they get it back. And here's Monk. Back to James. Another shot. Oh, he missed it! And so it's Boston who scraped by with the win. That was an incredible night of hoops. A tremendous finish. They waited until the very last moment to seal it. And so many times we see these close games won by the home team. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Ali LaForce, Grant Hill, and Doris Burke, this is Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching tonight's game. So long and good night, everyone.